Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, Twitch chat. Hope everyone's having a good day. Welcome back to Let Us Play. I'm your host, Father Evan. Excited to be back here today, back with more Kirby. Uh, but first, check out what came in the mail today. Brand new Busted Halo ornament for the year. These are great. They're made of ceramic. Uh, you can win one of these. Uh, we give them away on the radio show, but also uh, I think it's the first hundred people to donate on Giving Tuesday. Uh, get one as well. Let me tell you, that goes quickly, usually within an hour of it becoming Giving Tuesday. So set your alarms if you want to get one of these swanky busted halo uh, ornaments. Yeah, they're really nice. They You can't really tell on the camera, but it has like a slight curve to it, uh, kind of going inward. So uh, no giveaways currently, although I could I could see if I could snag a few extra of the... Uh, of the... Uh, Ornaments. I'll have to talk to the powers that be. I don't know how many extras we have. But let's dive back into Kirby. The Great Cave Offensive. I don't know. I think it's pretty inoffensive. So, how's everyone doing today? Would be a fun thing for the loyal watchers. I will, but again, I don't know how many extras we have. Work weird, but at least you have caffeine. Well, that's good. Swim, Kirby, swim! Uh, has a bucket. Ah, uh, there's an old school meme. Ow. Stupid jet. Ow. Oh, that's bad. That is very bad. Okay, everything's okay. Summertime! And the living is easy. Ooh, careful. Careful. You're ahead of schedule with two major creative projects, so you're feeling good about that. You should feel good about that. That's great. That was everything, but I have to go back the long way because of the current. Hundred dollar coin value ten thousand. So apparently one gold is one one penny. I feel like we missed something. Got that one, but I saw there's all that food down there. I didn't see that. I didn't find a way to that. Oh, it's just this way. Okay. It's okay. I need it. Uh, yes. Yeah, it is on the Switch Online, and as Step Zero says, it is the uh, cheaper of the two options. I love my Switch. I'm excited for the Switch 2, whatever that happens to be when they announce it. Unless it turns into a Wii U experience. Hey, Tim Picanita, good to see ya. Poof. 
I made a chest of falcon helmet. Falcon punch. Fal fal falcon punch. So many great little references. Jerk. You're going to give yourself a new Switch for Christmas? I like this plan. I mean, that's that's tough but fair when he takes the one that's his. I've heard good things about the Switch Lite, if you don't mind just always playing in... Um, Uh, handheld mode. No, I can't. Ah! It's trying to break. Uh, you're not gonna do it. Actually, wanted that guy. I mean, it depends on what games you play, whether or not the Steam Deck or the Switch is for you. But the idea is, is there, either way. Uh, yeah, it should handle. It does handle all the cartridge games. Well, yeah, but that's because the Switch actually kind of has terrible optimization. Like, I will ding it for that, but I don't care because... The games are too much fun, and that's what I'm really there for, and the handheld mode is great. I don't need that power anyway. Powers in Kirby are overrated. Play the original. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Truth Mirror! Kit has redeemed a father joke. I saw a turtle taking a picture of itself the other day. I guess it was a shelfie. Oh, this is one of my favorite bosses. I love this boss. It's an RPG computer game. Slime appears. Kirby attacks. 25 damage points given to Slime. Slime attacks. Kirby's hurt. Kirby attacks. 25 damage points. Slime causes gang, but nothing happens. You can tell the people at HAL were like... Uh, big nerds for um, like Dragon Quest and those style RPGs. Dancing Dell's crying, but nothing happens. I think the witch is next. Yeah, witch. There's actually two versions of this boss, uh, and the m I think it's always the witch. No, because there's a dragon. Oh, the witch retreats, so it has more defense. Ice spell. Kirby defeats all enemies. You earned 239 experience points. You earned two happy smile points. You earned two tenderness points. You earned four appetite points. You earned two honesty points. You earned two greediness points. You earned two love points. I love that. I Every time I play that, I always get... I don't know. I just think it's so funny and well-written. It's such a good love, little love note to RPGs. And it totally doesn't even need to exist. Like, there's nothing... So welcome to the castle. I feel this is the most complicated portion of the game. 
because you'll you may notice there's an entrance here, an entrance here, and an entrance here, and I think there's even a hidden entrance somewhere. Actually, I, I'm going to need beam. Um, but there are a ton of treasures. You can skip a ton of this, though, if you really want. You can just... Ah! Kirby, stop being on fire. Thank you. Tut's mask. But there's also just, like, a lot of... different ways to go, and... A lot of treasures if you try to get them all, which I guess we are at this point. Yeet! Rice bowl! Because, but you'll notice, like, now where we're collecting, it's, there's already a gap. Which sometimes, when you play this, you can panic and be like, oh no, what did I miss? Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, nope, it's just... This fight is not going well, uh... I need some help. Oh no, there's another boss fight right here. Autumn time. But wait, this boss fight's really easy. Bye bye. Clutch. That was a very clutch grab. Okay, at least we get to keep the treasure. Because we get to keep summertime. But now we have to work our way back there. So we have to make sure we get everything. Okay, helper, I brought you into this world. I need your help distracting the bosses in this next area. Mostly because there's just a lot of them. Helper? Why, why don't we spread out? No, helper! Okay, that works, I guess. You can approach this fight from the other direction, too. This is one big loop. So if you do that and you show up, you're like, Aha, I fight the boss, and then... You make his bridge disappear. You tried to get the treasure from the switch, and it's like... Nope. Unicorn's horn. 8,300. That is a very specific amount. $803, basically. But why can Kirby not eat the, the coconuts? He eats everything else and it gives him health. there's a treasure in this room. But, we may as well check. Kirby's like you and hates the coconut. Well, that's because you're a sensible human being. 
Coconut is terrible. Oh, we found a door. We found a treasure. That ended poorly. Star Tiara! I like coconut milk, but that's mostly because I like curry. Okay, so we need to come back here with the hammer. That's obnoxious. And we're back here. So let's go back to this door and go the other way now. Ooh, actually, really quickly. Rock can also... Where did that rock go? There was a blue rock right there! Oh, Helper found it. Anyway, Rock can also... Oh, nope. We're coming back for that. We're gonna go... going to get whatever that is underneath that hammer spot. I like creativity that all the different abilities, like certain abilities can do that. It's not just hammer. Get by helper. Oh, hi helper. I'm guessing we're going to need fire. Because this game loves to give you things when you need them. Okay, that water has way too strong of a current. be one of those days. Tell you what, let's save the treasures we have. Let's go exploring another way. We'll come back to that. We're putting a pin in it. Rotada. Oh, that's just the way forward. How did I get to that other spot? Was it the left side here? Uh, anyway, today's gospel, Jesus calls his disciples unprofitable servants and reminds them that's what they're to be. Um, and I think it's a strong reminder to church hierarchically that, you know, we, we are not called... Ow. To a, a way of life for our own sake. I think especially in light of some of the news in America. Uh, but as a people of God, we also remember that we are loved first, and in response, we, we live a certain way, and, and that's the more important part. Hmm. 
Mr. Saturn. Had no idea what that was as a kid. Because like a lot of Americans, I never played Earthbound. Still haven't. I hear good things, but... It's also very expensive. I do enjoy collecting SNES games, but I have my limits. Armor! But Kirby won't wear it. treasure box. Is that a box full of treasures? Or is that a box for me to put my treasures in? Is this game getting recursive? Nope. That wasn't paying attention. I was looking at Twitch chat. Well, while we're here, let's have some pancakes and flan. Sounds like a perfectly normal, well-balanced breakfast to me. Yes, got it. Mannequin. And we never have to go back to that room again. Let's actually grab mirror while we're here. Okay, that's a boss. There's something else over there, but I need to have an ability that I can use underwater. That phases through things. Does plasma work? No. You revert to... Using bubbles. Hmm. Okay, so there's a second pin. Building up my static electricity.
Yes. We got through the door in time. Oh, we got a model ship. I don't need your candles. Wait, we didn't find the treasure down there. Dang it, we have to go back now. Maybe I do need the candles. Wait, I have an idea. I found fire. See, there's a door. It was hidden in the darkness. We found it. But I like this area because, like, the whole, like, exploring around the castle. I think it's really well designed. It's a huge maze. But it's fun. And back to the castle. Okay, so we have the left of there. But we need the rock or hammer to get through it. Where was the other thing we put a pin in? Kirby is in another castle. Yes. One up here? Nope. There's another door. Oh yeah, it was, um, we needed something that can work underwater. was at the top of this was by the boss area.
I like how Burning Leo s swishes their hair as they walk around. Oh, con it! I just lost my ability, and it just poofed into the lava block. There is a very rare chance that you can turn into a golden Mario statue. Oh yeah, this is where we died. Turtle shell. Hey, it's a Koopa shell. So we need some fire. But oh, this is the other half of that. Okay. Intriguing. Bit easier to get the treasure that way. uncalled for. Come, helper, let us share in a kiss of peace. Yeah! Helper did the right thing! I'm actually impressed by that. Sword. So we have sword and armor and shield. Man. Kirby is ready for anything. I think the best ability to do what we need to do next, which we need to hit a block from underwater, would either be beam or yo-yo, but beam would probably be easier to get. have to push the parasol out of its hand first. Oh, 
Why does the pineapple have bombs? Who looked at a pineapple and said, ah, this needs explosive and in incendiary devices. That's not an underwater ability either. Maybe it is yo-yo that I need to get. There are certain abilities that work underwater, like others. Because I have a feeling... Oh, that's right, you can't check your treasures in a boss room. Because we're missing these two. Early hand grenades look like pineapples that came to be called that a lot. That's fair. 42 and 43. Well, we found the model ship and the sun ring in here. So yeah, it basically has to be right where uh, that other spot is. we'll go this way because eventually there's a yo-yo over here. Ow. Oh, that's not actually that tur My brain cannot remember the buttons today. Unfortunately, there's some... Ah, two burgers and a candy cane. Delicious. Ah! I don't think I've ever seen that thing, uh... Grab onto Kirby's face. That was terrifying. Unfortunately, this place is also riddled with food. So Kirby's kind of completely okay with everything. Two burgers and a candy cane is the breakfast of champions? I don't remember that line in the book, but it's been a while. the outer space area. Oh, please work underwater. Yo, yo, please, please let my memories be correct. No! Concern it. Let's see. <laughs> I'm just gonna look this up. I just wanna grab these two treasures real quickly. Stop. 
stone. We need stone, apparently. That's what breaks through those other blocks. That was just obnoxious. But fortunately, there is a stone... Actually, the enemy is properly called... It's a Rocky. Like these blue guys. Their name is Rocky. I don't see them running up the steps of the Philadelphia Museum, but... There we go. No! That's that's just evil. That is maximally rude to be like, ah yes, you need to use the stone ability to get through here, but don't use the stone ability once you're here. Okay, we know where a hidden wall pretzel is. So we're going to need a, as much help as we can muster, I think. Standing right in front of my sprite, thank you. Gold crown. Treasure 42. Okay, that's definitely a way back. this, and then I need to break that block. And I'm guessing the treasure chest is down there. But I need to find a cutting ability. But I need to keep Rocky alive as well. Yay, babysitting quest. Wait, didn't I just... Oh, I guess we fell. I wasn't paying attention. Looks like Ninja is my only option. Ok, 
Come here, Ninja Panda Bear. I need you. No, I... What? I thought that was... I thought that gave Ninja. Makes sense. They climbed the wall like ninjas and... Uh... This is most frustrating. We're gonna try this lower door. Well... Is there something over here? No, this is just... That was the bridge over. This is the only way we haven't gone, and... Look at that. Loops you back. So here's what I'm gonna say. I would love to 100% this. But in order to do that, you need two different abilities. Which means you need to... Basically get there with Helper, which is... Never easy. Or have a second person playing, and I don't have that. So... Sorry. No more 100% on this. Well, 99%. It, it rounds up. I... I dare say that's not the best game design in this. Although, now we do have all four of the seasons. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. I like that they're arranged diagonally. This is on a Super Nintendo. Like, an actual legitimate Super Nintendo. I don't think I can have a remote play. There might be a hack that can do that, but... I certainly don't have that salt. Ow. Yep, I enjoy all the hardware. It's reliable. It's not working? Oh, just... Get a little, uh rubbing alcohol on there. No. Store it, store it, jump, go! Ah! Oh, that wasn't quite close enough. I also really dig this background of this area. I think it's really pretty. Plus, I just love the music. Like, this track in particular. I, I go out of my way to listen to this track. Come on, Kirby. No! Ah! Maybe that's what I need to do. It's like, once I get past... Start going up. There we go. Cheat the system. Cheat the momentum. Get a katana! Kirby, you could've just bought one of those at a mall. Especially a sad, dying mall that has those weird... uh, sword stores. I 
think center is forward in this area. We're a very high-end shopping district in Tokyo. Okay, yeah, but... My... Most of my audience is not in Tokyo. In fact, I don't know if any of my audience is in Tokyo. Mystery. How seasonally appropriate. Thank you for your contribution. We have a cloud maze. That's fun. Well, I guess there's nothing to do but go through the doors sequentially, as we've found them. Maybe? Door not real? Maybe this is the only real door. The others are but illusions. Again, maybe not. Rami is scale. I imagine that's some sort of piece of uh, Asian legends and mythology that I do not get the reference to. So we're missing a couple things. So there's probably another thing in here. If I can figure out how to get to these other doors. Maybe there's another way around. Maybe that's what the other uh, cannon's for. Nope, that cannon's a fake. There wasn't anything further left, was there? Nope, that's it.
Pegasus swing. Let's see where that is. Oh, that's way down there. Hmm. Ow. Hmm. Nope, that's going to be a tracks. Tracks like that signify um, a transition area. That means we have to go back to uh, the center door that we haven't done yet. No! Don't cut that one. Hopefully that resets. Yes, it does. Okay, good. Whew. Yeah, I don't care about a one-up getting captured. Platinum ring. done that. We can discover there's no nothing else down there. It is a dead end. resetting me. Treasure chest? Oh yeah, there's a treasure chest down there. Triforce! Does this mean Kirby's now the hero of Hyrule? Oh look, it's a Nintendo hands boss. To be fair, this is actually like one of the first. If not the first. Oh, no, no. I do not want to take the walk with you, Mr. Hands. That was a clutch block. You know what? We're just going to let a helper take care of this, I think. Or we'll get... No! Oh! Ah, I was hoping to suck in one of those rocks because... That uh, that gives you stone, and I could just disapparate and let the AI handle it. Uh, it's not to be my luck. We have zero life left. 
This is the final boss of this of this particular uh, adventure. You may notice he hits like a truck. Dear AI, please stop just jumping in place. It's very unhelpful. You did this to yourself, helper. I cannot help you now. One more bomb. I missed. There we go. You can do it, trolley. I believe in you. There you go. So this is the very end of the Great Cave Offensive, and we did not get all 60 treasures, but we did pretty dang well with the treasures we did get for ourselves. So, got all the seasons. Uh, next is Milky Way Wishes, which I think is mm, my second favorite. I really like what Milky Way... We'll, we'll talk about it. I like what Milky Way Wishes does with the uh, power-ups. And now it gives you the tally and shows you all the, gold, all the good loot you got. Yeah, Milky Way Wishes. Does this show us a record? Record, 51 out of 60. Pretty good. Um, it's, a, it's a good pass. That's like an A-. minus, And... 8.2 million gold. I would not complain about having 8.2 million gold. Milky Way Wishes, help! You must stop the sun and moon from fighting! No, it's not my first time playing. So yes, this game uses deluxe copy instead of regular copy. And here's Kirby's Planet, Popstar, and the Sun and Moon are indeed having it out. So we have to go collect magical stars in order to summon an ancient being called Nova. There's that star. One of these little stars in the background is actually a level. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. That would do it. So you may notice in this one, if I suck up one of these guys, it's no good. But Kirby's been swallowing enemies everywhere and copying their abilities. What's up? Well, in uh, Milky Way Wishes, they skew that formula. Instead, you have a permanent ability to transform into whatever power you want, so long as you have collected it from its, like, little stanchion. Now, one off of enemies, like, crash, you can still do, but... So, crash and music. 
I think those are the only one. Oh, I almost fell down that pit. That would have been awkward. And now we can become copy whenever we want. And with copy, you can also copy whatever you want, but... So let's start over here. In Floria. Which has the fun thing where uh, you can change the seasons. So now in fall, the tree is felled. No, I don't. Mm, this is not what I wanted. I need mirror. Thank you. I need to shoot down at an angle. And now we can become fighter whenever we want. Spring. Ow! Tired of these gators eating my face. I like the flexibility, and I think the levels utilize it well and reward you for exploring and finding the abilities. So you can then, in turn, use them as you regularly would. I like games that reward exploring. Mostly because I like exploring. I feel like there was something in winter here. It's been a long time since I've played Milky Way Wishes. Activate the star fountains or something. Get star pieces, star wand, Kirby magic, MacGuffin, Unobtainium. But I like this one because it always directs you to what planet it, the game considers is next. You can do it in whatever order. Aquilus. Actually, seems to be quite aqua full. Mm -hmm. 
Merp. Yep. Nope. Bad spinies. fire ability. I don't have... There's no enemies around here that create fire either, so I can't copy them. Mm, darn. That would be too easy. Why couldn't you just explode like the rest of them? Oh shoot, that's the way forward. Well, we missed an ability. It's okay if we missed an ability, though, because we need to come back to this world later with fire anyway if we want all the abilities. Nope. I like this maze. It's a bit obnoxious, but... Got that nice fake out right there that I like. It's like, oh no, there's a door here. You must have gone the wrong way. And it's like, no, I haven't. It's the whale. I love this boss. He's got a. a I love these guys' sailor outfit on. Like, what ship is he working on? He is the ship. To be honest, Kirby Superstar is shorter than I remember. I may have to come up with something else for the last Tuesday of the month. I might just revert to Minecraft. I mean, Minecraft's always fun. What do y'all think? Would you want me to find another Super Nintendo game? Or just do some Minecraft after we're done with Kirby? Uh, next week. And the week after, I guess. Because there's still two more... There's still two more Tuesdays in uh, November.
Minecraft? Well, that's one vote. Two votes for Minecraft. I mean, you really have to twist my arm to get me to play Minecraft, after all. I mean... Ah, oh, I just barely didn't make that. Oh, I'm not making it in that one. My brain cannot comprehend how to do this, apparently. And that's all I had to do. Yeah, permanent tire ability! Nyaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
and we are back. Hot Beat. It's a great name for a planet. Hey, have you checked out my new mix? My new single? You can find it on Hot Beat. Okay, no, that's nothing. That is a trap. It looks like something really desperately wants to be there. Check this out, though. You can walk through those blocks, but only if you have the invincibility. Did I miss something? I, I feel like uh, there was supposed to be a firepower there. Oh, there it is. We are dangerously low on health. I need to pay attention. Granted. Boss o'clock. Oh, hey, it's this guy. So the chameleon can't... Oh, no. One of the things the chameleon can do is turn invisible. If you hit it with the paint splotch, it will forever be uh, brightly colored. So those things... I don't care if you turn invisible. I can still hit you. Cavios. Oh, 
No, don't cook, Kirby. I think you can get suplex on this level too. And hammer. I think those are the three. I could be wrong. That fight went great. Everything is fine. Yep, hammer. Okay, so there's got to be a switch somewhere. And there it is. Good old Rocky Top. Frogway. So I think we... Ah, uh, this boss again. Yay! I bet we could finish... Um, Milky Way wishes today. And defeat what is arguably the most unsettling boss in Kirby history. Make another. Ah, 
And I can let him take care of this. I can make infinite helpers. I'm going to need to make infinite helpers. Uh, I'm dead. I timed that poorly. Let's see how Burdon does. And I am actually going to start with stone. I seem to recall stone's actually pretty useful against this boss. You just have to. Not get hit in the first. Two attacks, that generally helps. Okay, don't take the ability. Ignore the thing that would heal you completely. Helper, what are you doing? Winning, apparently. <laughs> yeah, French flight. French fly. French fry planet. Which is actually like mech eye. It's all the like technology planet. Hey, Kohara Gate 9. Things are going well. How about yourself? Ooh, my favorite book, Catch 22. Easy question. I love that book. Favorite theologian. There is a much harder question. Uh... Like, contemporaneous or any time period? Because the current state of their life may influence 
that question whether I have to pick someone who's alive or not. Uh, not really into apologetics a ton. I mean, I, I know apologetics and how, you know, how to use it, but I would say my favorite is really liturgical theology. Um, I think there's a lot of really interesting stuff going on. Uh, St. Ephraim is one of my favorite theologians. I don't know if he's my absolute favorite, but he's pretty dang close, if not. Uh, John Chrysostom, Gregory Nazianzus both have some very interesting things. Um, Karl Rahner and Bernard Lonergan, both very interesting and very influential theologians. I especially like uh, Lonergan's um, uh, Christology. Like, I think he translates the Council of uh, some of the early councils into modern understandings very well. I mean, Aquinas is always a classic, as is Augustine. <laughs> you have a love hate relationship with the Jesuit theology? That's fair. I'm not like pro or anti Jesuit by any means. I just like. I appreciate their existence and their role, and it's just that Lonergan and Ronder both happen to be Jesuits. And of early tw 20th century theologians, you know, I mean, they are some of the heaviest hitters. is this? Oh, it's mechanical crap. The refight. This one is actually very nice for your helper to have the plasma ability because they can just float up and over. Theologian. Yeah, Baron does produce a lot of good stuff. Um, Luke, I think one of my favorite living theologians is Luke Timothy Johnson. He does a lot of really great stuff on biblical scholarship, particularly Luke and Acts. Um, one of my favorite professors in theology, and I would argue he's a theologian, is. Um, Oh, his name is escaping me. I can see his... Uh, Dominic Serra. Father Dominic Serra. He's actually a priest of uh, the Diocese of New York, where I am. another really interesting theologian. He's not living, but he's not been to cease long, is um, Nicodemus of the Holy Mountain. Uh, he was a Greek Orthodox theologian, but he has some really beautiful stuff about cosmology and anthropology and how the two are intertwined. And it's not anthropology, as we understand as like we may colloquially think of it as a science, but Christian anthropology, the sense of understanding the human person.
Yeah, mirror. Love this ability. Yeah, the Christian East does not get enough love. Although sometimes, and I say this with all due respect, I think some Eastern Christians probably like it that way, where they're like, nah, we get, we can do our thing. We don't have people bothering us. And it's like, you know what? I get that. I do like that this section is entirely doable by hand if you want, but why would you want to? Yeah, Baron does does do a good job of sort of demystifying and, and bringing it to an earthliness. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh, no, excuse me, sorry, sorry. That's okay, it's okay. Sorry, excuse me, pardon. Uh, I just think that it's... I, I honestly don't consume a lot of Baron, but I, I am wary of... Not necessarily him personally, but perhaps it's how some people put a lot of stock into the whole word on fire system, and it's like they are doing good stuff, but they're also human. Like, I think his Catholicism series is actually really good. You know, like, just like any other person, he is complicated. Turns out we're humans and, you know, we're not flat individuals and... You know, we can't be easily summed up. Yeah, and I don't even call it a cult following, it's just that sometimes... the internet following is very much like, Oh, well, Bishop Barron said this, therefore... It's like, well... I appreciate that as Bishop, he has a role as teacher of the church, but he's not your bishop, and that that's something I... Yeah. Uh, and I... I think it's important as uh, Catholics that we do have a sense of yes, universalness, but also a sense of localness. Uh, that, you know, just because Bishop X, Y, or Z says something online and you really like it doesn't mean that it necessarily applies to you, because maybe your bishop has said something else and is... is calling that particular diocese to something else. And it, it, it's a tricky balance where it's like, you know, yes, listening to someone who has this has this grace of orders, but also, you know, listening to your to the local realities. And it, in an internet age, that's tough. And I don't have a simple solution of how to do it. And, you know, I know I'm just as guilty as that as others. Like, I'm not trying to say it's only a certain person or people. It's like, you know, we, we all do different things in our own way. We're all human beings. We're all susceptible to fall. Yeah, I, maybe if there were more voices, it might be better. But... And it's tough, because again, like, having a role... Having someone in a media role to, to educate is big, and that's really important. And he's very charismatic. He's very good at what he does. Um, and not every bishop has that ability or, or gifts. Yeah, and it's tough. It's Again, it's a tough balance of, like, how do you 
preach with the gifts of the age, but also, you know, live out the ecclesiology of the church. Nova, ready. This is the thing we were... I will grant you one wish. Well, I want to control Popstart, Marks, you little jerk. Okay. Three, two, one, blast off. If your bishop streamed on Twitch, you'd listen more. That is fair. I don't know how many bishops even know uh, what Twitch is, though. <laughs> Now I can do anything. I must be going now. Yeah. <laughs> and Kirby gets a sweet ride. And now Nova comes in to try and... Take over in the sun and the moon, put aside their differences to stop him. And now Kirby became a, a rail shooter. A shmup. It's the heart of Nova. Ow. And I do like that in the background you can see which ones are still uh, working or which ones are broken. Dang it. Uh, uh, there was no avoiding that. I was at too low of health. drum line of, of that track of Nova's chords. Oh, I can't open up the abilities menu. I just have to do it this way. So this is Mark's. I seem to remember having a bigger, a uh, bigger beard, but here we are. You know, I have. You want to talk mixed feelings? Undertale's mixed feelings. The internet, I think, has ruined that game for me, and I have never even played it. I think it would be a really fascinating thing to play. Don't get me wrong, but also like, I don't know. I just having seen so many. Not even watching them, but just seeing so much stuff online about it. It's kind of like... Meh. Sometimes the, the worst thing for a product is an overzealous uh, fan base. Oh, you're right. Marks did have a silly grease paint mustache. 
And there were four of them. Yeah, the, and that happens. So uh, it might be on the schedule at some point, but it's not ah in the immediate schedule. Although I'm very excited because next month I'm going to start playing Adam's Venture. Which is an Indiana Jones-esque adventure looking for relics of the Book of Genesis. And it looks... Oh! Run away! Run away from Black Hole. It looks like a really interesting uh, take on the adventure game genre through a, a Christian lens. It's got mixed reviews, so that's... So I don't know how well it actually plays, but I'm still excited. What? Stupid magic pixel health. Be gone, Marks! And part of the apprehension, too, is if I start streaming it, will people come and be like, oh, you need to do this route first. Oh, do you need to do this first? And it's like, uh, can't I just, can't I play the game? And Kirby went to bed. Kirby knows how to live the good life. Oh, I had forgot about these little Kirby diagrams, or, or like pictograms, of Kirby doing all the different roles. Kirby looking at a computer be like, I don't know what any of this means, I'm just gonna press more buttons. I just want to see more of these little pictograms. Aww! Look at Kirby playing the little keyboard. The little stool that's so cute. <laughs> Kirby, that's not how you brick. whistling this all all day tomorrow. The Kirby music is so catchy. Thank you for playing my game. Wait. Why is there a period after Nintendo? That is a weird typo. Unless, does the name Nintendo have a period on it, just naturally? I understand there's more, but, but where is there more? 
It was hidden this entire time. The arena. The final challenge in his toughest battle yet. The pink wonder faces his strongest enemies. You have to fight 20 bosses. And you only get like five or six maximum tomatoes in between the fights. It's nuts. But that was perfect timing to uh, wrap us up for the day. So thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in to Let Us Play. I've been your host, Father Evan. Uh, there won't be a stream on Thursday. I'm away for retreat. Won't be a stream on Monday either. Getting back from retreat. Uh, I'll be praying for y'all. Um, but next Tuesday, uh, when we come back, uh, we're going to do some Minecraft since for the rest of the month. Because I legitimately thought Kirby was going to take longer. <laughs> but that's okay. It's a fun game, and I'm glad we did it. Um, and yeah, I think that's everything. So thank you so much to everyone uh, for tuning in, for watching, for uh, liking, subscribing, joining the Discord, subscribing on YouTube, all that good jazz. I hope everyone has a great rest of the day. Take care and God bless.